binge watchers where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron and today it's open season on Designated Survivor. So I watched the three first episodes of Designated Survivor, a show that's exclusively on Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime. It's very exclusive though. In Designated Survivor, the United States Capitol is bombed just as the president is being sworn in. The explosion wipes out the Capitol building and most of the United States government with it. The president, Congress, cabinet members, everybody's dead. Or are they? According to protocol, whenever the entire United States government gathers in a single place, they designate a survivor. You know, just like the designated driver has to drive if everybody else gets drunk, the designated survivor has to run the country if everybody else dies. So right after the explosion, the designated survivor is tapped and is quickly sworn in as the new president of the United States of America. And the best part is the designated survivor is Jack Bauer. Yes, they finally made Jack Bauer president. Now he doesn't have to break the law to kill everybody. He can just, you know, kill everybody. If the premise of this show was really Jack Bauer is now the president because the rest of the government is dead, instantly best show ever. But alas, Kiefer Sutherland plays pretty much the opposite of Jack Bauer. So I did like the premise of the show. A guy who's very much unprepared and unequipped becomes the leader of the free world. Nobody believes in him, everybody wants to see him fail, and he has to find a way to make it work. I thought the first episode did a pretty good job at introducing us to the story. It's all very cookie cutter. Every character in this show you've seen a million times, right down to the army general who just wants to bomb everybody, doesn't care about you know process or anything, and he looks just like an older version of Guile from Street Fighter. So the premise was cool, but it's not groundbreaking stuff, which is fine, you know, not every show has to reinvent the wheel. I still had a lot of fun with it. I do have to disclaim that as I'm watching this show, somewhere in the back of my mind, I'm still going like, yes, Jack Bauer, it's the fucking president. And that by itself carries a lot of weight. Any other actor would have made this show less interesting to me. In episode two, still pretty solid on the political stuff. They're trying to figure out who did the attack and why the nation is responding in different ways. And Tom, the new president, has to find ways to deal with it while people are constantly trying to undermine him. But then you also have the FBI angle where they're also looking into the bombing and you have your traditional agent who isn't playing by the rules, but damn it, she'll get to the truth. As I said, every character you've seen a million times. So the FBI angle is very by the numbers and it feels a little silly, but episode two is still fun because the, the premise of the show still feels fresh. Episode three just took a nosedive. Episode three focused more on the FBI investigation and it just became the type of thing you expect from low quality procedurals. Up until then, it's not like the show felt super real, but it did have this vibe of, what if this really happened? Episode three, it might as well have been Felicity from Arrow, just like hacking the internet. It's like, come on, we, we were doing well, what happened? As of making this video, I have not watched episode four yet, but I kind of like the premise. I'm interested to see if it turns out to be a solid show. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a great show, uh, but there's some fun potential there. And also, I mean, just, you know, Jack Bauer for president. What about you? Have you started watching Designated Survivor? What are your thoughts so far? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the binge watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging and I will see you next time.